The question 16, it is about line segments. It's the first in the writing part, and it's from module 10.3. Here we have been told to find the variable, that is whatever the variable is there in the question, and the line segment that's yz. If y is in between x and z, let's draw a line. Imagine this is the two points, x and z, and y is somewhere in between. I'm not sure where exactly it is. Now they have given us the dimensions. x, y is 11, and y, z is 4 times c, and x, z is 83. This 83 is the total, x, z. My diagram is not at all to scale. You can see this total is 83 and this much is 11. doesn't make sense. But, you know, I'm just drawing the scale, a figure, which is not up to the scale. Now, y is in between these two points. So this segment and this segment, when we add up, will be the total length, isn't it? So what we can do is we can write the step one. Step one is find variable. Finding variable. What is the variable here? It is the variable c. How do we find? We have to write the formula of the segments. That is x, y plus y, z will be equal to the sum. That is x and z. Now we can just substitute. What is x, y? It's 11 given away in the question. Plus y, z, it's 4c. That is equal to 83. So let us uh, just solve for c. 4c, let it be over here. It's going to be 83 minus 11. And then... 4c will be equal to 83 minus 11 is 73, 72. And now c, both the sides divided by 4, that will be 72 divided by 4. c, it will be 20, 20 minus 2 is 18. That should be the answer for the variable c, 72 by 4. Now the step 2 over here would be find or finding, what is the uh, term? That is y, z, the segment y, z y z is given in the question to be 4 times c and what is it that is equal to 4 times 18 isn't it this this bar suggests it's a line segment now when we substitute the value we, we do not need to write this right now okay if we are using the congruent symbol then we generally write it okay but you can just put it over here here it's not required because i've substituted what is y z exactly it's up to you now here 4 times 18 it's 72. Why? Because we just divided 72 by 4 and got 18, isn't it? So it's 72. So that's the answer. Two steps. This and this. Very important. The steps are also very important. Please do write the steps because it's, it's in the writing part. Now you can also solve it in the calculator just from the substitution step. Here, all you need to do is type this out to check the answer. 11 plus 4 times C. You cannot put in the calculator. You can put the variable x instead of c. That's unknown variable. Equals is alpha equal to 83. Shift and solve and then press equal to. The answer is 18. And that's it. So this will be the answer. Now you can solve any of these steps and you, can, you will get the same answer. So that is how we solve it over here. You can see it's 18 and 72. Similarly, you can solve the other problems. The line segment remains the same, only the variables change. Okay, these things change. And even over here, the variable, this remains the same, only these substitutions will change. And over here as well, only this part will change. So it is pretty simple, right? It's the same thing. Now, make sure you're solving it accurately. Look into the question. Sometimes it may not be in the order x, y, y, z. You know, they might jumble this up. So see what is the line segment, y, x, and y. Where is x and y? If it might be the third term, see properly what is given and then write it at 6b here. Plus, what is y and z? It is 8b. That is equal to, it's 175 in this case. So that's the substitutions. And then you solve it up. 6 plus 8 is 14 here. That is equal to 175. So 14, I mean, that's going to be uh, hard. So we'll use the calculator over here. This is 14B. And over here, what about this? YZ is given as 8 times B. Once we get the value of B, we need to substitute over here and solve it. Let's use the calculator here. We need to take the 14 to the other side. So it's going to be 175 divided by 14. 
that is equal to 12.5 22 by 5 2 is 12.5 so here the step would be 175 divided by 14, that is 12.5. Now you have to multiply this here, 12.5 is 100, I believe. Um, let's just check. Yeah, 80 times uh, 80 plus. Multiply it with 8. Yes, it's 100. So that are the answers. You can just check the answers over here. As simple as that. So make sure you solve all the other problems here. Some of the steps are remaining the same because it's the same question. It's just that you need to solve according to what is given to you. In your exam, it may not be the same terms. It, it, it can change, you know. It can be A, B, C, something like that. Make sure you do the right substitution and solve it up. Here on, I would suggest you to solve these problems by yourselves, but I'm going to solve all these anyways. If you want, you can check the answers. But I would highly suggest you stop it, solve them yourself, and then look into the explanation. So here, what do we have is 7 times a, and then 5a, we have to add them, that is equal to 6a plus 24. 7 plus 5 is 12 times a, that is equal to 6a plus 24. We have to group the a's together, so take the 6a to the other side, it's going to be 12a minus 6a equals 24. That is 6a equals 24 and a is equal to 4, 24 divided by 6. What about over here? It is 5 times a, isn't it? So it's 5 times 4 and here you go, answer is 20. What about the other term? Now here, let's just check the answer. It's 4 and 20. All we have to do is we have to just change it up over here and this over here as well. So that is it. So what do we have over here? 5.5 plus 2c is equal to 8.9. We need to solve for c. That is 8.9 minus 5.5. So it's going to be 4 and 3. It's 3.4 is 2 times c. Now 34 by 2 is 17. So it's 1.7 is c. So that is the answer for C, but we need to find YZ, that is 2 times C. So 2 times 1.7 is 17 times 2 is 34, or 3 point here. It's the same thing. Okay, so that is the answers. So here we go. It's 1.7 and 3.4. Similarly, please do solve the others. Here, I'll just go through the solutions. We have to add X, Y, and Y, Z. Why? Because y is in between x and z and when you add them up it will be equal to xz so substitute all the values that's 5n plus 2n equals 91 add them up over here the left side 7n equals 91 uh, 91 is uh, 13 7 times 13 is 91 and same thing once you find the n substitute back over here and you can get the answer 26 similarly do this over here and then you can check the step by step solution that's over here Left side we get 10 and right side. Now here, I'll just solve this one. I'll directly, we know the formula, I'll just substitute. What is it? 4w plus 6w equals 12w minus 8. So this is going to be 10w equals 12w minus 8. So usually what we do is the variable, we try to keep it positive. So we have to follow a rule. What is the coefficient of w over here? 12 and over here 10. Whichever is bigger remains. So this is bigger. So this remains here. The smaller one changes its side and changes its sign. So plus 10 becomes minus 10 when it moves over here. And this number moves to the other side because we group the numbers in the other side. Now 8 is equal to 12 minus 10. It's 2w. Divide both the sides by 2. You will get 4 equals w. And what is yz here? It's 6 times 4. That is equal to 24. So the answer is 4 and 24. The answer is same, just the method over here. We have negative and then changing the negative. We can avoid that step by just following the simple rule. The coefficient which is bigger remains the smaller changes. Now, just in case, if this was minus 12 here, then the bigger number is 10 because positive numbers are bigger than negative numbers, right? 10w. So then this moves to the other side and it becomes plus 12 and we can solve it like that. So the answer is over here. And let me just do the last problem. This is the last one. Here again, we need to write all the rules, steps, and everything. 
it's this plus this is equal to xz. So it'll be 11d plus 9d minus 2, that is equal to 5 times d plus 28. So here we have 20d minus 2, this is 2, 5d plus 28. Now what happens? Of course, 20 is bigger than 5, so it'll be 20d minus 5d. This moves its place and the sign changes. Here, minus 2 to the other side will become plus 2. And here we have 30 and over here we have 15d. So divide both the sides by 15, we will have d is equal to 2. 15 times 2 is 30. And it's not over, we have to substitute it back in this equation. What is yz? 9 times 2 minus 6. 9 times 2 is 18, sorry, it's not 6 minus 2, my bad, it's 2 here, so 18 minus 2 is 16, so that is the answer, and that is how we solve it up, so make sure, look into the question, what is given to you, what variables are given, substitute it accordingly, and easily you can solve this up, that is the end of this question, I hope it is clear, if you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video, or posting your doubts in the comments, I hope you all will head on to the next video.